I want to talk a little bit more about connected devices, more specifically securing your, your smart home devices and, and really your, your home network. Um, on average, the U.S. household has about 20 connected devices, um, including computers, mobile devices, gaming consoles, smart fridges. I know how you feel about smart fridges and lights and <laughs> smart doors. We are talking about that offline. Um, but the fact of the matter is people have all of these connected devices for one reason or another. They value the convenience or they bought it and they don't really use it and it's there. What risk do these unsecure connected devices in your household pose and how are the bad guys using that to cause harm? Criminals are using like the weak infrastructure of these devices to access and control the devices without your permission. And uh, they can also use these devices and access to these devices to move laterally across your network and get to your val valuable devices, such as your laptop or your home computer. And then what, are they looking for ones that have vulnerabilities as like a door, an entryway in, or, or how do they approach that? Yeah, absolutely. They'll, they'll do vulnerability scans. They'll, they'll identify all the vulnerabilities of your you know, laptop and use those vulnerabilities to gain access to your valuable information. What's, what, is there any responsibility on the side of the manufacturer to make sure that they're shipping secure hardware? I mean, that, that seems like a big part of the equation too. Are, are these devices inherently secure to begin with? I don't think they're in, inherently secure. And I think it should be on the manufacturers to put out, you know, secure hardware and not just be um, first to the market with a, a smart fridge. Let's say you have, we, we're in this unfortunate scenario, we have all these connected devices. Um, what are some basic best practices that we can take to really strengthen uh, our home security so that this doesn't become an issue for us? You know, I don't want my baby monitor being used as part of a cyber attack, or I don't want them using that data on my child, things of that nature. I would recommend using a strong encryption standard. So stay away from the old modems and routers and you know update and get the, the latest one. So, and those typically come with, with firewalls, uh, which can be enabled to provide additional layer of security for your home network. Just real quick, the, the firewall concept, like how does that add a layer of security? It adds a layer of security by using content filtering. So it, it'll block access to certain websites or you can block IP addresses of you know incoming traffic. I can use that as like a parental control as well for my, my family? Yes. Okay. Were there, were, were there other uh, layers of security that, that would be helpful? I think you can also enable, you know, wireless uh, MAC address filtering, which is, you know, on the the hardware side of things. So every device has, you know, a unique hardware identifier and you can use those hardware identifiers um, to also filter um, content. So only allowing communication from trusted hardware.